Hello YouTube, I just want to show off my uh, variation of TG Stun with Striker going back to 2, Duality going up to 3, and Heavy Storm becoming a thing of the past. People are expecting this deck to take off and I was one of those people. So <clears throat> this is my take on it. This is the, my first time playing TG Stun, but I did take some uh, ideas from the guy who topped YCS Austin. I think a year, maybe a year and a half ago. And uh, a guy who uh, top aided at a regionals, I think somewhere in Europe. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a very fun deck. And if you are able to set up, you're sitting really good. So for the TGs, I run the two striker, three Warwolf, three Rhino, very standard. Uh, just your floater engine gives you uh, plays into your extra deck and Rhino is pretty beefy when he gains the 400 attack during the damage step. Now we're in 3 beast King Barbaros because with skill drain on the field that's 3,000 beats that you just normal summon straight away. And I'm sure there would, might be able to be a scenario where you can uh, use his effect by tributing 3 to destroy field. I haven't done it yet but who knows. And in replace of the three Tangu, I'm running three Hazy Flame Cerebrus. Uh, you can normal summon without tributes, but he get, his attack only is a thousand. But when you skill drain, that's negated, so he's two thousand. And when he's destroyed, add another Hazy card from your deck to hand, so he just kind of searches for himself. So that's very nice. I run the one Thunder King. It you'd think it hurt. Uh, since all your monsters are floaters, but there's really only one. And if skill drain's on the field, that doesn't really come into consideration. And it, be, you kind of get a pick when it's on the field, so it's going to be hurting your opponent more than it's hurting you. Plus, stopping those inherent synchros and Xyz summons are very nice. Uh, Dark Hole, Triple Duality. You very rarely special summon in this deck, and you need to get to your skill drain. You need to get to some form of your floater engine and protection and then after that you are golden book of moon just uh stop your opponent's stuff it is more or less just acting as a second compulse and you should be running book of moon this format because it is very good one mst because you don't really care about back row as most of your cards are floaters and things like mirror force become kind of a neg to your opponent. Uh, for the traps, are 19 traps. I run Solemn Warning, Double Mirror Force, the one Torrential, the one Bottomless, the one Compulse, the two Deep Prisons, Triple Skill Drain. Skill Drain is more or less the main card MVP of the deck, as it hurts most decks out there. And it doesn't hurt your deck in the slightest. And even with like Beast King Barbaros and Cerebrus, it just boosts your monsters. And I don't really need to explain any of these guys. Triple Horn of the Phantom Beast. Equip it to a Beast or Beast Warrior type monster. And it gains 800 attack. When it destroys a monster, draw a card. So equip it to a Barbaros while Skill Drain is on the field. That's 38 attack and you go plus one every time you draw a card. Cerebrus, that's a 28 with Skill Drain. Uh, you can equip it to Rhino and Warwolf too. And even when Skill Drain's not on the field, say you just have you normal summon a Cerebrus because that's the only thing you can do. Because you can't uh, non-tribute set it and you want to get your floats. But set this. Your opponent tries to attack with Boar the Spear. Uh, Chain Horn of the Phantom Beast. Try to bait out the Clute. If they don't have the Clute, you're going plus... plus uh, Two, actually, because their monsters are being destroyed by battle. Triple Dark Bribe. Just because Heavy's gone doesn't mean Skill Drain's safe. Uh, Black Wings have, are running Triple MST, Triple Icarus Attack, and Delta. Something that Black Wings have their own Heavy Storm. Uh, people are running MSTs and 3s. And sometimes, you know, your only monster is a Beast King Barbaros that your opponent is trying to bottomless, and that's going to save you. Dark Bribe is going to save you. Plus, you don't care that your opponent goes plus one, because 
a lot of decks only have so many outs to this, to uh, skill drain, because most decks are only running triple MST. And uh, once their MSTs are used up, a Barbaros with a Horn of the Phantom Beast is very dif difficult to get over. And I'm running two TG1 EM ones. You ch it's a creature swap for TGs, that's also a trap, but you get to pick the targets. So, and since TGs are all floaters, go ahead and uh, give your opponent a Warwolf and go ahead and take their uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon and then get your plus one. Anyone who has watched my channel for in any ex ex extended period of time knows I love creature swap and floater inch and stuff, so yeah. The extra deck, uh, you make some of these things, but not all of them, uh, and just uh, stuff. Uh, TG Wonder Magician, when it's Synchro Summon, you can destroy a spell trap card on the field. So I use this to kind of get over back row, that's bothering me. And when it's destroyed, you draw a card, so just, it's an Xyz monster, it's also a floater. Cataster, just a good card. TG uh, Power Gladiator, it has the same effect as a Magician, where if it's destroyed, you draw a card. I'm going to embark on because you can make it with uh, Striker and Rush Rhino, and it's just a generically good card. And Gaia is just giant beats. Scrap Dragon, Crimson Blader, and Mistworm. Unfortunately, I can't run Trishula, so Mistworm is my replacement for Trishula, and Mistworm happens now, apparently. And for uh, Dixies, I run Zen Mains, Levier, Leviathan, Cowboy, Agusto Emerald. One thing that kind of does hurt this deck is that you don't have Pot of Avarice. And so Degusto Emeralds, maybe you can make it with a T-King and a Rush Rhino. And cycle back your TG monsters if you're in a bad scenario. And to round things off, Sinfonita Jin and Utopia. I think I'll, I, that's, I said all I wanted to say about the deck, so thank you for watching. Goodbye.